Hi, I'm Dawn. I'm a counsellor and a mindfulness practitioner. And I use mindfulness-based intervention in my work here at Alliance Counselling. Mindfulness, the simple practice of paying attention on purpose in the present moment without judgement, has gone mainstream in recent years. Schools around the world are adapting mindfulness as it emerged as an effective way of helping children improve attention, reduce stress and increase their ability to regulate emotions. The benefits are really tremendous. So let's demystify mindfulness and talk about what mindfulness is and is not. Mindfulness is not a quick fix. In fact, it is not a technical skill. Although there are practices that can help us to be more mindful, mindfulness is actually a way of life. The other misconception of mindfulness is that it is meant to make us feel calm and relaxed. Well, this may of course happen as a result of regular practice, but it is a side effect rather than a goal. So your child may be fidgeting or giggling during a mindfulness practice, and that's fine. Let go of any expectation. We are really planting a seed here for them to experience small moments of mindfulness and to feel that this is a simple, accessible and positive thing. Children, especially the younger ones, embody some of the best elements of mindfulness. They are naturally full of confidence and wonder and has a firm grounding in the present moment. Mindfulness is also not something that you could outsource, unlike piano classes where you can engage someone else to teach it to your child. You have to embody mindfulness in order to teach your child. So I will share some of the practices that is popular with children and something that you can adopt at home. The first is mindful eating. So eat at the dinner table with all your devices away and TV switched off for the first few moments and eat in silence. This allows everyone to slow down and to pay attention to what they are eating, the texture, the taste. And this also allows the child to feel whether he or she is hungry or full. The other practice that I like is mindful walking. You don't have to make time specially for that. You can walk to the station or to the bus stop or to the supermarket. Play a game with a child. Tell him or her to perhaps walk in silence and spot colours, maybe pink or blue things around. So remember to keep mindfulness simple and positive. Thank you.